Hi there. So this is a quick video to show uh, how to use the asterisk server um, in testing the mobile apps, making client SIP connections. Uh, so we have a iPhone 6 currently hooked up and that's visible on the screen. I will also uh, be using um, some phones, some test phones, to go ahead and participate. Here's an iPod, and I'll be using that to um, be one of the care team members. I'm also be gonna be using an Android LG G4 with uh, Android 5.1. I'll log in as primary caregiver um, two at gct.com on this guy and, uh, and on the regular phone I'll be logging on the iPad rather iPod I'll be logging in as care team member one at gct.com and uh, this is uh, participant information I'm collecting from the uh, demo.strax.co. So I have my login credentials ready. Uh, let's go ahead and prep the iPhone as well. That's going to be PCG1 at gct.com and uh, with the password care team. All right, um, now I'm logged in as root, and um, on and these are both these terminals are accessing the asterisk log a server, and I'm going to show you why I'm I'm going to be loading up uh, two of these terminals. So first of all, I want to go to the asterisk command line, and uh, the way I do that is by typing in rasterisk. Okay, uh, rather let me rasterisk like that. Now the command line pulled up. And I will do a show peers, SIP show peers. Now here, uh, what I'd like to point out, let's see if we can bring this together a bit. Um, these particular participants are going to be in the 5000 series or 500 series. And it's going to be uh, 0, 1, and 2, these guys. Uh, and it'll probably be 14. So that's what I expect that when these phones come online and they and they uh, talk with the SIP server, uh, the host here, you can see that this is the host, um, will be an IP address that it'll capture, as well as port information, uh, and that's how pretty much how you know if you have uh, correctly logged in. Um, on the top terminal, I'm going to go to the var log directory. And I believe there's an asterisk folder here, and I could potentially either view the CDR uh, call detail records, or I could look at messages. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tail messages. Okay. Um, so now I'm leaving the tail on here. I'm logged into the command line interface here. There's going to be a raw log output happening in the command line here, as well as up here in the uh, um, uh, log tail for asterisk. So let's go ahead and sign in as uh, primary caregiver one. I'm going to go ahead and click and sign in. And just as soon as I do that, um, here, on the raw log of the console, uh, I do see that it reflects that it was registered. Here in the log, um, you can see that the uh, participant is now reachable. All right, um, now let me go ahead and sign in as PCG2 on the Android. And as soon as I do that, uh, you see that I get a confirmation that I'm logged in there and um, it reflects up here as well. And finally, I'm gonna log in as care team member one and sign in on the iPod. And as soon as I do that, you can see that all these guys have registered. 
Okay, so let's do a quick show peers. And as described, we are correctly registered. Okay, uh, so let me go ahead and now um, I'll let that access allow access to there. Let's go ahead and trigger uh, some telemetry. Um, go ahead and do that um, using demo.straxco. Give it a quick moment to get in. I'm going to log in as PCG1, that's fine. And I'm going to go ahead and trigger, let's trigger a battery alert at one and then click, click submit. All right, and all my uh, participants did indeed get the notification. Well, actually not all. So here on the Android, the battery alert came on. However, on the iPod, I do not get the alert. Um, so that is something to take note of. All right, very good. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, trigger the call for help. I'm going to do it on the um, iPhone 6, which is visible right here on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and click on call safe tracks. All right, now as I'm doing that, please note what's happening in the logs. I'm going to receive the call on the Android. I'm also getting the call right here on the iPod. Okay. Now, I don't know if you can hear the echo. Let's go ahead and put it on speaker. So you can probably hear the echo, which means the bridge is established. All right, very good. And let's see here. Okay, and uh, right here, we can see the SIP channels has been joined. So you can look at the raw log right here. And this is a this is a happy path scenario. So everybody was able to join in. I have um, shot some video where um, there has been a defect with the originating call um, not coming through and um, it's really helpful to see either of these logs and um, uh, get some feedback on. Now I'm going to go ahead and drop off. So I'm going to drop this guy one, I'm going to drop two, and I'm going to drop three. Uh, let's see if I'm able to drop off this the Android. Now for some reason on the Android I am not able to drop off. So on the UI, I am clicking on hang up. And for some reason, the hang up is not happening. And that's something to potentially take note of. Um, however, when I slide to a different uh, tab and come back, it seems like I do get out of there into a call cancel state. So a little bit of a hiccup there. All right, um, so I hope this helps with uh, the troubleshooting in general uh, when it comes to the voice over IP um, feature functionality of the IER. All right, thank you.